real life real estate stuff. Hi, I'm Mary Jo and I have been selling houses for 14 years and every day is an adventure. Trust me. In today's adventures of real estate with Mary Jo, I receive a text message from a realtor asking if my listing is still available, to which I reply, yes, it is. He then replies, letting me know he does not have access to the multiple listing service and would I be so kind to send him documents attached to the listing. To that, he replies and says that he belongs to two other multiple listing services, which are far south from where this property is located, which is fine and great as a real estate professional that he does actually belong to a multiple listing service. I then reply back to him, the electronic lockbox is through this multiple listing service, and if he needs access to the home, he needs to have access to the MLS. To which he replies back and says, I'll figure something out. My response is, why not just refer your client out to where he would get a nice referral fee? His response back is, it's a friend, and they don't want to be referred out. I'll figure it out. I respond back. If you don't have access to the MLS system, you don't want to refer your client out. How do you expect to properly represent them in the purchase of this property if they decide they want to make an offer? If he is not a member of this MLS system, how does he know what the market values are in this property's location? And how is he going to be able to represent his client properly and make the proper offer. In this situation, he could potentially be overbidding on the property and another offer come in and beat his client out who has already mentally moved into this home because they love it that much. This is my biggest pet peeve, <laughs> pet peeve as a realtor, because how do you represent your client properly and put an offer in for them? It's about the client. It's about the buyer, the seller. As realtors, as real estate professionals, it's our job to properly represent someone in the sale or purchase of a home. And if you don't have access to the multiple listing service, all of those other dot-com sites that are out there are not going to give you the proper data that you need in order to price a home effectively or submit an offer on your client's behalf and make sure that you are the winning bid. And that's all I have to say about that today. Until next time, with a day in the life of being a realtor in New Jersey with Mary Jo.